Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Dollar Forever coming back at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings commemorative China Airlines Boeing 747 in the Dreamliner livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I pre-ordered and purchased this model from Choice Toys whose store is based out of Olin Park, Kansas here in the United States of America and its website address is www.troystoysinc.com But first, allow me to share some information about the history of China Airlines if you would please. China Airlines was founded on December 16, 1959 by a retired Air Force officer and initially began concentrating on charter flights by using a fleet of two PBY Catalonia Amphibians as the airline was able to establish its first scheduled routes and officially commenced operations in October 1962 with the airline's first inaugural flight was from Taipei to Hualien City, Taiwan. China Airlines is the national flag carrier airline as well as the largest operating airline in the PRC, the People's Republic of China slash Taiwan, whereas the global headquarters of China Airlines is located at Cal Park which is located alongside the airline's main hub and base of operations that's located on the grounds of Taiwan Taiwan International Airport which is located approximately 25 miles west of Taipei in the Daewon district section of Taiwan City, Taiwan and the airline's focus city hubs are located at Kaohsiung International Airport which is located in Kaohsiung City, Taiwan Taipei Songshan Airport located in Songshan District section of Taipei, Taiwan and Hong Kong International Airport located in Hong Kong. As of September 2018 or at the time this video review posting, China Airlines flies to 115 destinations worldwide across Asia, Europe, North America and Oceania with the operating fleet of 88 aircraft. That includes 22 Boeing 747s, in which four of those are the Boeing 747-400s, and the remaining 18 are the Boeing 747-400F freighters, with no unfulfilled orders pending on this aircraft type at the time of this video review post. Also, as of September 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, China Airlines currently operates as a certified four-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax magazine and the Boeing customer code for China Airlines is 09. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box you see here where you see the airline's logo there, the China Airlines title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the Boeing title and its logo, the aircraft type, as well as the one 200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the lower part of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, nothing much back there except the Boeing official license proc decal right there, as well as the warning information at the back of the box. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the airline's logo, the China Airlines title, the aircraft type, the Boeing uh, title as well as the logo as well as the one 200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box, the same information at the top of the box I showed you earlier on. All right. Now you're looking at the customized uh, model stand that came with the model. And you see there, you see on that plaque there, you see the China Airlines title there. You see the airline's logo the aircraft type as well as the scale model information inside a customized plaque and then you look up there though you see that black padding on that uh, model stand the purpose of that black padding there folks is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched that's the purpose of that black padding folks and now you're looking at this plastic bag and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors featuring the two little toothpicks you see there Please stay tuned as I go into details for the purpose of these gear replacements for this particular model, okay? Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of China Airlines and how they came about and still flying strongly as we speak today, all the details here on this box, plus the customized uh, wooden model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacement doors inside this little plastic bag there. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. There it is, the JC Wings commemorative China Airlines Boeing 747-400 in the Dreamliner livery scheme. 
Let me give you some information about this customized livery scheme you see displayed on this aircraft. This co-branded livery scheme, which is actually called the Dreamliner Livery Scheme, as well as another nickname that China Airlines decided to call it, the Flying Blue Whale, was unveiled shortly after the aircraft was removed from the Boeing Aircraft Paint Facility in Everett, Washington on November 10, 2004, which was prior to China Airlines taking delivery of its 15th Boeing 747-400 jetliner, which bared the registration ship number B-18210 on December 7, 2004. This aircraft actually became the first Boeing 747-400 jetliner that began sporting the co-branded livery scheme that Boeing and China Airlines had collaborated on as this specialized livery design actually symbolizes the great relationship between the two companies. Unfortunately, after China Airlines sported this specialized co-branded livery scheme for eight years, this aircraft was eventually repainted back to the airline's current livery scheme sometime in December 2012. So, with all that information out of the way, how this uh, livery came about, let's get down to business and let me show you all the details on this customized aircraft, shall we? Let's check it out. All right, everyone, we're going to start on the port slash left side of the aircraft. We're going to start at the front here where you see the uh, nose gears right here. The nose gears is kind of sliding above off the uh, ground there, you see there. You see the uh, nose gear struts, the landing gear lights. I'll give you a better visual view of those later on in the review. You see the landing gear doors featuring the uh, registration ship number on there. You see the uh, Peter tubes and the static ports. You see the nose cone, the cockpit windows, and the windshield wipers. And the Sky Team uh, logo you see displayed there by the cockpit windows as well as by the L1 door. China Airlines joined the Sky Team Alliance on September 28, 2011 which consists of 20 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Delta, Aereo Mexico, Air France, and Korean Air as the four founding members. And then you see the 747 decal right there, right next, right underneath the uh, first class windows as well as uh, next to the L1 door. China Airlines acquired its very first Boeing 747-400 jetliner that bared the registration ship number B-161 on February 8, 1990 and took delivery of its last Boeing 747-400 passenger jumbo jetliner that bared the registration ship number B-18215 on April 26, 2005 as China Airlines at one time registered and operated as many as 18 of these iconic jetliners in their fleet. And now, as of September 2018, or at the time of this video review posted, there are only four Boeing 747-400s that actually remain operating in their fleet, as this aircraft type is solely used for cross-strait and regional flight purposes, while the remaining 14 Boeing 747-400s that was delivered prior to 2004 are either stored up at the aircraft boneyard storage facility at Victorville Airport in Victorville, California, and have been sold altogether. However, China Airlines does continue to operate the Boeing 747-400s, mostly in the cargo freighter version. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft, where you see the registration ship number right above the Scott uh, Team decal right there, as well as on the, the nose gear door right here. Registration ship number B-18210. Registration ship number B-18210. This was the 15th Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliner that actually entered the fleet of China Airlines, as well as the first and only Boeing 747-400 jetliner that sported the Dreamliner co-branded livery scheme, which was unveiled on November 10, 2004. Then the first test flight on this aircraft took place two days later on November 12, 2004, and was delivered to China Airlines on December 7, 2004 as this particular aircraft was previously painted in the specialized co-brand delivery scheme from November 2004 up until December 2012 as this aircraft has since been repainted back to the airline's current delivery scheme. Alright, now you're looking at the, uh, still the front part of the aircraft, we see the Boeing title right there as well as the inboard landing lights right there on the edge of the wings. I'm going to turn around and give you a better visual view of it. Check it out. Now you got a better visual view of the inboard landing lights you see there. The guy in little jewels and makes you more uh, realistic and appealing and attractive. You know what I'm saying? All right. 
All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft where you see these big massive engines you're looking at. And these are the General Electric CF6-80C2B1F type engines that are used on this particular China Airlines Boeing 747-400 Jumbo Jetliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones here as well as there. Now I'm going to turn this uh, model around let you see the front end of the engines and the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here and the turbo fan blade spin as I mentioned earlier. See there, the engine here. Perfect. And you gotta mention the inboard landing lights right there as well as the landing bogey gears here on the uh, port side of the aircraft including the landing gear doors as well. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose cone, the nose gear doors, uh, the landing gear lights right there. That's also in jewels, making it more realistic and appealing as well. And you see the nose gears right here. The nose gears right here is slightly off the ground, but that's, I don't know why. It is what it is, all right? Now you're looking at the engines here on the starboard side, and the engine fan blades do spin over here as well. Check it out. Perfect. Perfect. And you got a better visual view of the uh, inboard landing lights here on the starboard side, as well as the landing bogey gears here, and the landing gear doors as well. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft where you see the red navigation light next to this winglet here. And you see this winglet here painted in the uh, Boeing colors here, the multicolors of blue, sky blue, as well as dark blue there as well. If you don't know, this winglet is at least six feet tall. You know, if you ever flown a 747, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Now you got a better visual view of the bogey landing gears here on the port side right here. The landing gear doors as well as the center bogey gears here and the bogey gear doors here on this side as well. You also see the uh, gears here on the starboard side, all right? All right, we towards the back of the aircraft here where you see the China Airlines title and that little customized logo right there. I have no idea what that is. If somebody can pinpoint and put that information in the uh, comment section, I would truly appreciate it, please. And then you see the registration ship number right there as I mentioned earlier, okay? All right, we still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the airline's logos displayed here on the tail fin of the aircraft. The China Airlines logo, as you can see displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, is actually called a plum blossom flower, as this flower actually symbolizes from the distinctive type of the Asian tree species that grows on both the plum and the apricot trees, as this flower is also considered the national flower for the country of the PRC the People's Republic of China slash Taiwan and has been the airline's signature trademark logo ever since it was introduced in 1995 as this logo can also be seen on just about every China Airlines aircraft tail flying today. All right. We're at the back of the aircraft where you see the APU exhaust right here. And if you don't know what APU stands for, it stands for Auxiliary Power Unit. That's what that hole is called, folks. And then you see the strobe light running the APU exhaust hole, okay? Now you're looking at this aircraft from the rear view angle. You also see the wingers on this side here, as well as on this side as well. Ain't it great? Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the Sky Team logo right there. You see the 747 decal, the Peter tubes and static ports, what have you, the nose cone, the registration ship number, the Boeing uh, title, the logo, the front cargo containing loading door there, the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the landing gear lights, the landing gear doors, as well as the registration ship number on the nose gear door. And now you're looking at the center of the aircraft with the nice little Boeing uh, Dreamliner livery scheme painted uh, there. And you see the inboard land lights here, as I mentioned earlier. And then you're looking at these massive uh, General Electric CF6-80C2B1F type engines here on the starboard side, featuring the engine cones there as well as there. Now you're looking at the green navigation light right there next to the winglet here on the starboard side. 
Now you got a better visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side. You see the landing gears here, the landing gear doors, as well as the center landing gears here on the starboard side as well. All right, looking at back the aircraft here, we see the China Airlines title here, the logo, the rear uh, cargo containing loading door, the AFT bolt bin door, the registration ship number, as well as the R5 uh, exit door there as well. And finally, you're looking at the airline's logo, which is called a plum blossom flower, which is also considered the national flower for the uh, People's Republic of China slash Taiwan. That is the national flower right there. It's played here on the tail fin of the aircraft. Okay. Before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model in its entirety, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in its entirety, I'm going to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Let's check that out right there. Rolls pretty good. All right. It tilts. And the nose gear even swivels as well, as you can see there. But as I mentioned earlier, the nose gear here is kind of slightly off the ground. You see there, that's the only flaw there. But other than that, it's still a great aircraft model. With no further ado, allow me to show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at this aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view, where you see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit window, the Pilescape hatch door. You see the Sky Team logo on both sides. You see the anti-collision beacon light right there. You see the... Uh, high frequency antenna there and then you come down here you see the ADF antennas in 3D you see the um, high frequency antenna there the satellite communications antenna there another antenna you see the China Airlines title on both sides another antenna and then there's the tail right there and you see the horizontal stabilizer right there as well as over here now you see them little two dots over here on the edge of the horizontal stabilizer there, as well as over here as well. Those are the illuminated lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wing, everyone. No wing walkway, but you got the uh, flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. See the engines there. Then you come up here, the fuel dump valve, as well as the painted wing. Let's check out this side, folks. No wing walkway, but you got the flap, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. See the engines there. Come down here, the fuel dump valve, as well as the uh, painted winglet on this side here as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft, which is painted mostly in blue. We see the nose cone, the closed nose gear door. The open nose gear door right there, and the nose gears there. The front cargo contained loading door there. Then you slide this way. See the anti collision beacon light, the hole where the stand goes in at. And then you see the, uh, the landing bogey gears here as well. There. Then you're going to come up here, the, another high frequency antenna there. Then the pressure relief valves and the APU housing doors and the uh, horizontal stabilizers underneath. Let's check out the uh, gears there, folks, there. And then you see the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. The engines there, the restraining ship number, the fuel dump valve, and the painted winglet on this side. Now let's check out this side here. The gears, Percy, perfect. Flat slats, the aileron spoilers, the um, engines there, the fuel dump valve, as well as the painted winglet on this side as well. Okay, I'm gonna let you see these tilted uh, gears. There, they tilted. Okay, there, they on point there, there, and there. Okay, that one was a little challenge, but the rest of them tilted pretty good. All right. Now, since I'll show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on the customized wooden stand that came with the model you see there. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. All right, 
Fine got this mile on the stand with no problem, no hesitation, as you see him being displayed in the takeoff landing position on the uh, port side with the model on the stand. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand. Now you're seeing this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand from the starboard side. And finally, you're seeing this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand from the tail cam angle. Okay, before I take this model off the stand, I got in this position for the reason. And the reason is, is the gears. I'm going to take these gears on with the nose gear here first. They are retractable and detachable. The gears here. There gears here on the starboard side there and the sitter gears okay I gotta take this model off to get the gears out there they're retractable as well magnetic awesome okay there so since I took all the gears off here I'm gonna let you see this model at a different angle without the gears check it out there it is. Now you're seeing the model being displayed in flight mode position without the gears. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model from this point on. Now you want to continue to display it like that without the gears. That's fine. In the uh, gear up position without the gears. That's fine. You see these gear replacement doors in it I showed you earlier. That's the purpose of these gear replacement doors to substitute your gears while you display your model like this in flight mode position. Or you can keep the gears on there in the gear down position and take off landing position. Gears up, gear down, your choice. But me personally, I choose to keep mines on there. It adds more value to the model. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model off the stand, and go in and wrap up this model with you. All right? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. This particular China Airlines Boeing 747-400 jetliner seats 375 passengers in a three-class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown there one from rows one to five, which is the main deck. That should be from here to here. You have 12 first class seats and rows six to 11, which is the upper deck. That'll be from here to here. You have 24 business class seats and rows 17 to 20, which is the main deck from here to here. You have additional 25 business class seats, which brings a total of 49 business class seats. And rows 28 to 63, which is the main deck, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 314 economy class seats, which brings the total of the 375 seats. And as of September 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, China Airlines currently employs their Boeing 747-400s on routes from Taipei, Taiwan International Airport and Taipei, Taiwan to enter Asian destinations such as Neha, Japan, Sapporo, Japan, Guangzhou, China, and Shenzhen, China. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I like to know if you got this uh, model or you plan on getting it. You know, in flight dropped one as well, but I decided to wait on this one. I'm glad I did. But this is definitely a high must have model for your collection. If you ain't got it, you can find it on eBay. That's probably your outside chance of finding it. Okay? So, with that said, please rate, subscribe, leave me your comments and suggestions. And with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.